For the judge, who would you pick to win an Oscar? We'll have results of an exclusive scientific Poll 21 survey. In the weather, we'll tell you when you can put your winter coat away. It's probably not too far in the future. Soon, all right. And on Live Line, healthy cooking with cookbook author Joanna Lund. It's all next on 21 Alive News at Noon right here. Stay with us. And the only time I would ever raise my hands to you would be to pray for you. I know good girls like bad boys. Coming to the Embassy Theater Wednesday, March 25th. Tickets on sale now. For nearly 50 years, Champion has installed some of the finest windows, siding, and patio rooms in America. Visit Champion showroom this weekend and save during our open house sale. Experience the beauty and operational ease of Champion windows. Feel the strength and security of Champion patio rooms. Discover the pleasures of maintenance-free siding. Call 484-2900 for directions. But hurry, even though our showroom is open all year, Champion's open house sale is this weekend only. Do you know how many grams of fat are in that bag? Nope. Would you guess 53? Let's take a look, see what you got under the hood there. Brown stuff, orange stuff, meat, something dry and something wet. Don't eat food you're unfamiliar with. Have you taken the Subway Challenge? Subway has seven great tasting fresh value meals with eight grams of fat or less. No wonder millions have taken the Subway Challenge. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. That special sauce. Do you feel special? I do. Here, 21 Alive's own Jay Walker and Russ Marshall discuss unusual weather phenomena and how El Nino may affect your future at Borders Books and Music tonight at 7. You're watching WPTA TV 21 Alive News at noon with Jane Herschel, Victor Locke, and Brent Trentum. All right. Good afternoon. It's Monday, March 23rd. And topping our news, federal officials say it was a business deal that went sour. As a result, a Pearson, Indiana man is due in Fort Wayne federal court later today. He's accused of sending a letter bomb that killed a Vermont teenager. 35-year-old Chris Dean is due to appear before a federal judge at 4.30 this afternoon in Fort Wayne. He was arrested Friday by FBI agents who say he sent a bomb that killed 17-year-old Chris Marquis last week. Now, Dean's held in the Allen County Jail on federal explosives charges. He could face a death penalty if he's convicted. According to officials, a business deal involved the purchase of CB radio equipment. An attempt to outlaw late-term abortions in the Buckeye State has failed. The U.S. Supreme Court voted 6-3 to three not to revive the law. Today's action means that the justices are letting stand a lower court ruling which called the law unconstitutional and blocked its enforcement. A Whitley County couple is now in a higher tax bracket. Henry Pitts of Columbia City, standing in for his wife, won $224,000 on the Hoosier Mil Millionaire Lottery game show this weekend. Pitts went for the top prize of a million dollars and then settled for $200,000. He won with his first selection in the final round. Now, the company that normally cleans up other people's dirt was busy shoveling some of its own this morning. Stanley Steamer broke ground for a new facility on Research Drive, a 20,000 square foot facility that should be completed by July. The company hopes to eventually have a staff of 75 employees at that new location. The eyes of the world will be focused on Hollywood tonight as the 70th Annual Academy Awards rekindle the glitz and romance of Tinseltown, while last year's ceremonies honored independent filmmakers. The Academy is poised this year to pay tribute, perhaps to the most expensive Hollywood epic of all time. Titanic, nominated for 14 awards, could make Oscar history as the most honored film ever. In the meantime, some of Hollywood's most legendary names are up for acting awards and races some say are too close to call. But Jane, you know, not all the races are too close to call here at home. That's in right. fact, before the winners are announced this evening, we wanted to get an idea of who you think should receive some of those trophies. So we're going to do that. We're going to tell you. That's why we asked 993 Allen County residents to respond to our exclusive Scientific Poll 21. Well, when asked which film should win for the best picture, 64% said Titanic, 15% said Goodwill Hunting, 13% chose As Good As It Gets, and 5% L.A. Confidential, while 3% went with The Full Monty. For best actor, Jack Nicholson takes the lead with 44%, and Matt Damon was in second place with 16%. For best actress, Kate Winslet garnered 49% of your votes. Helen Hunt was your second choice with 40%. Forty percent, And it all starts tonight on 21 Alive at 8 o'clock with a Barbara Walters Oscar special. That, of course, then is followed by the awards at 9, and we want you then stay tuned for 21 Alive News. Afterwards. Afterwards, Which right? could probably be kind of late.
That's right. Oh, coming up, are you prepared for the 70s? I've been through them once. How about you? Oh, no, we're talking about temperatures now. <laughs> I'm ready for them That's this, right. this Forget way. those 70s. We'll tell you when the mercury is expected to climb coming up. All right, and Barbie has plastic in her hand and is headed to the stores. Consumer Reports tells you what message it may be sending your child. Now, that's a little later. But first, a Fort Wayne employer needs a journey maintenance machinist. You must have experience. The pay is $15.62 an hour. It can be more depending on your experience. So if you're interested, call the Department of Workforce Development at 745-3555. What's new on the 21 Alive Internet homepage? Check it out at this address. He served in the White House and became a TV legend. How Bill Moyers faced the crack addiction that almost killed his son. Plus, this cop's double life made the movie. I couldn't make it through the day without some cocaine. Next Oprah. Today at 4 on 21 Alive. Of course, affordable dentures improve smiles. But more importantly, they improve lives. Because new dentures not only renew confidence in your appearance, but you'll eat better. And that can have a real impact on your overall health. Our dentures are made right here in this office, in our own lab. You don't even have to make an appointment. New dentures at affordable prices. Call 1-800-DENTURE for information. Right away, you'll see a real improvement. Introducing great pasta from the people who bring you great pizza. New Pasta Bakes Meals from Pizza Hut. Four delicious pasta entrees, each one smothered with cheese, baked in a creamy sauce, and served piping hot with breadsticks. Pizza Hut, now for great pasta. To sample all of our great pastas, come to Pizza Hut on Monday night from 5 till 8. Our four new pasta bakes, cappuccini supreme, baked spaghetti, salad, breadsticks, garlic bread, and dessert pizza. All you can eat for just $5.99. Your hometown Pizza Hut. You know it's in there. You're not sure which day it'll come, but it's there. It's just one little piece of paper, but it's cost you to lose sleep, a ton of embarrassment, and a lot of money. You can avoid this type of mailbox malady with National Cash Advance. You know, we've all been caught short from time to time, but now with NCA's Cash Advance Protection, if you're employed and have a checking account, you can avoid these type of bank charges. It's simple and easy with NCA. You can have extra cash in minutes and we'll hold your check till payday. NCA Cash Advance Protection could be just what you need now. Leonardo DiCaprio is a long-haired little boy. Plus, the E.T. Oscar blimp launches. For best coverage of the Academy Awards, the winner is entertainment tonight. Tonight on 21 Alive. Look out your window if you haven't. It's beautiful out there. That looks great here, but boy, they're getting some snow to the south of us. Really? Yep. We'll show you where it is. We might see a little bit of that yet no tonight kidding. around here. Not a lot, but look hey, quickly out your it? window. Then. <laughs> yeah. We have had mostly sunny skies through the morning. It's been kind of pleasant, as we can see right now. A few puffs of clouds up there. We're looking south southeast on our sky view camera, and there is some sunshine, but also quite a few clouds. And we'll see those clouds thickening through the course of the day as a weak cold front swings through the area. We're at 39 degrees right now. Humidity 59 percent. Our humidity, or rather our winds, southeast at 10 miles per hour. Barometer falling 30.01 inches of mercury and no precipitation here in the last 24 hours. There's our satellite picture. You see clouds swinging our way from the Plain States, mostly to our south. But along with those clouds, some areas of precipitation. Now, this is a mixed bag of precipitation. It's mostly rain showers across Missouri and Arkansas, but snow showers moving through central Illinois into central Indiana. As a matter of fact, in the last hour, there have been reports of snow showers down in the Muncie and Anderson areas. Over in Lafayette, they are partly sunny right now. Uh, Indianapolis has some light rain on the north side of Indy right now. So we're going to look at all this precipitation slowly pushing to the north. It's not going to be very much precipitation, perhaps some snow showers or flurries later this afternoon into the evening hours as a weak cold front moves through. Tomorrow it will be replaced by high pressure that will bring clearing skies, plenty of sunshine, and as that high drifts off to the east later in the week, we'll see a warm southerly flow that will warm us up very nicely to well above normal temperatures, a normal high being 50 right now. We could be 15 to 20 degrees above that by Thursday and Friday. But along with the moisture, or rather along with the heat, comes more moisture, and that could set us up for some shower and storm activity as we head into the weekend. Here's your forecast for today. Clouds will be increasing through the afternoon hours. A high temperature of 45 possible this afternoon. Then tonight, under mostly cloudy skies, some flurries in the area. We could see some of those late this afternoon as well, with an overnight low of 26 degrees. Tomorrow morning flurries, then sunshine returns with a fair amount of sunshine. Wednesday, Thursday, late Friday.